Hey, uh, just wanted to do a quick video. Uh, I was having a problem with uh, leaking some uh, coolant underneath the car. You know, apparently I was thinking about maybe it just need low on the antifreeze to fill up the antifreeze to the, uh, the reservoir, the antifreeze reservoir or the coolant reservoir. As I kept filling up, kept leaking. And I was like, dang, what's what's causing it leaking? So I was trying to do my investigation to see what was going on. So I was checking the hoses from right here. Of course, I was checking right here and make sure nothing was damaged or broken off or anything. And especially with the uh, radiator, make sure the radiator was in good condition and stuff. Everything else looked pretty good. So I kept doing my investigation, couldn't find it. And I kept searching online to see what was the problem, which I couldn't find a solution for the problem. But sometime that uh, follow where the leak was going, and lo and behold, I look behind here, and I notice there's this hose right here, which they call it the uh, the heater hose T, which is right here. I noticed this right here was broken off from this part right here, which I don't know how, but uh, from what I have did my research on it, they say apparently most Ford uh, vehicles couldn't afford escapes usually have most problems with this broken off for it to be a def defect, I guess, in a way. But when I noticed that it was kind of leaking and wet, and I noticed this part right here was broken off from this part angle or so. So that let me know exactly what was really going on. So I'm finna, Get ready to take this part off right here. This is like the whole assembly line right here. Let me show you the new one. This is uh, the new assembly line. This is called uh, the uh, coolant heater uh, hose T, which is safe for like a T or so. And this is the whole part, which is the same line. It has to be, it has to be the whole part of it. So I could make it more easier by taking this part off right here. Cause really all I need is just, this is the part where it's broken off. All I really need is just, if I wanted to, I could just take this part off right here and uh, where the clamps are, replace the little hose part and make it more simple, easier. Cause it is going to be a pain in the ass to get through here. Cause a lot from what I have seen a lot of, uh, uh, demonstrations they usually say you have to take this part off right here which is a pain in the ass and i don't know why they made it more difficult to get through here like that or so but but uh i think it would be best if i had, if i wanted to i could take this off and make the job more easy and just replace this part right here but might as well just since i paid 40 50 dollars for this part right here which is not that bad which is good could have been more expensive but might as well just replace the whole thing, the whole assembly line and be done with it. At least that way, you know, later on down the line will be no problems or nothing like that. Just get it out the way. So I'm gonna make a video of it real quick and get back with you guys on it.